Hello, I am Aline. And I'm Mamuna. We will be talking to you about the war in Italy along with other wars. During World War II. To take Italy out from World War II and force Germany to change some divisions from the Russian front and other German divisions from northern France, along with securing the Mediterranean Sea, the Allied leader decided to use their massive military resources to commence an invasion on Italy. From July 10, 1943 to May 2, 1945, the Italian campaign was a series of land battles from Sicily and southern Italy and Allied beach landfalls. Airborne and amphibious landings on the southern shores of Sicily started the invasion of Sicily, also known as Operation Husky. July 10, 1943 was the start of the invasion of Sicily. As the Allies had anticipated, the Italian regime fell very quickly into disrepute. Prime Minister Benito Mussolini was arrested on July 24, 1943. Sixteen new divisions were moved into position on the Italian mainland. Adolf Hitler refused to let the Allies establish air bases in Italy that could threaten Germany's southern cities as well as its primary supplies in Romania. He ordered Field Marshal Albert Casalini to make the Allies pay for every inch of their advance. Under the resourceful commander Kelsering, German forces set up many defensive lines across the narrow Italian peninsula. The Gustav Line, the southernmost of the defensive lines, ran just behind Monte Cassino. Despite air- Allied air superiority across Italy, it took Allied soldiers four gruesome battles over several months to break through the Gustav Line in the heavily fortified Monte Cassino. In May, 40, in May 1944, the Allied breakout exposed Kelsering's main forces to a potential trap by helping Allied armies move forward from Anzio and Casino. Instead of cutting off the German soldiers retreating from Casino, U.S. General Mark Clark violated his orders by moving northwest to capture Rome. His decision allowed a fairly large German army to escape and possibly wasted an opportunity for a quick resolution of the grinding Italian campaign. As General Clark's 5th U.S. Army proceeded into Rome on June 4, 1944, the D-Day landing in Normandy, scheduled for June 6, took took priority over the Italian campaign. The Allies' plan for attacking the German-occupied France was gaining attention in 1943. Even though the Germans didn't know the exact location of the Allied landing, Hitler feared that the northern coast was being attacked and put Erwin Rommel in charge of the defensive of the defense operation of the area. The Allies had codenamed the attack Operation Overlord, which Dwight Eisenhower was the commander of. To deceive Germans, to deceive the Germans, the Allied forces carried out a deception operation and attempted to make the Germans think that the main target was Pasadena Calais. June 5, 1944 is the date of the attack, but due to bad weather, it was delayed 24 hours. More than 5,000 ships, landing craft carrying troops, and supplies left England for the invasion along with 11,000 aircraft to provide cover. Although there were slight oppositions at beaches codenamed Gold, Junus, Ward, and Utah, res- the resistance at Beach Omaha was heavy, causing 2,000 American soldiers to lose their lives. On the slightly bright side, about 156,000 Allied troops stormed Normandy's beaches successfully. Due to the confusion caused by the Allied forces, Hitler refused to release nearby divisions to support the counterattacks because he believed that the current attack was a distraction from the attack that was going to take place in the north. He also delayed in calling from armored forces to join the attack. The Germans had to take long detours since the Air Force had taken out the major bridges. By the end, in the end of August 1944, the Allied forces had freed Paris and removed the Germans from northern, northwestern France. Now that the Battle of Normandy had come to an end, the Allied forces prepared to enter Germany, where they will join the Soviet troops entering from the east. The Allied forces demolished the German resistance in Belgium and moved toward the German frontier. The commander of the 21st Army Group, Bernard Montgomery, developed Operation Market Garden to attack over the Lower Rhine and into the industrial rural valley. This operation was a two-step operation that strove to break through the German lines and pass the British Army across the Rhine River and into Germany. Since the German troops were placed in the area around the destination of the Allied landing, they quickly and successfully countered the Allied forces. By October, the Allied forces had a complete shutdown of the movement because of a serious shortage of gasoline. Hitler took the opportunity to regain the lost advantages. This became known as the Battle of Polish. This was the largest battle fought but in the Western Front in Europe during World War II. The Germans started attacking on December 16 near the lines of Ardennes to accomplish their goal of driving a wedge between the American 
and British military and regain the port of Antwerp in the Netherlands and deny the Allies the use of port facilities. This mainly affected the American army. The heart of the battle was at the at the road junction of Bastogne, where the American troops and the, the German troops fought for control. The ring of German surround Bastogne was broken by Patton's Third Army, which was, which gave the Allied forces defending the area a relief. Literally and figuratively speaking, the Nazi offensive was running out of fuel. The Germans had waited for bad winter weather to commence their attack to reduce the ability of Allied aircraft to support the ground troops. The narrow roads and sub- stubborn resistance wrecked the Germans' timetable. The weather had also slowed down the German advance, but the improving weather conditions allowed Allied planes to get in the skies again and support counterattacks that began pushing back the Germans. The Polish resistance forces rose up in descent to the de- the Nazi occupiers in Warsaw. Known as the Warsaw Uprising, its participants lacked equipment and ammunition. Furthermore, the Soviet forces, against the expectations of the Polish resistance activists, did not make an effort to link up with the Polish resistance and break through the German lines. This incident led many to conclude that the Soviet military had been instructed by Joseph Stalin to not aid the resistance in order to weaken anti-communist forces in the city. The Soviets and the Sat moved to gain wider foothold in Balkan in the in late August. They removed Romania from the war, moved into Bulgaria, and then to Yugoslavia. In October, Hungary was the next to fall. By the beginning of 1945, Soviet forces found themselves on the doorsteps of Nazi Germany, ready to overthrow the Nazi regime. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.